Hello friends, this is Abhishek. After a long time, I'm recording this video uh, related to the phone gap applications. Uh, here, you can see uh, on this on on my screen, you can get the all different kind of examples for Android phone gap, iOS, and Windows phone development. Okay, or you can also get the videos for Visual Studio learning like ASP.NET, C Sharp, Radio.NET, etc., etc. Okay, this is my registry channel from where you can get lots of learning video tutorials related to Swift, Objective-C, iOS, PHP, Android, C Sharp, ASP.NET, etc., etc., custom jQuery, JavaScript, etc., etc. Okay, let's coming back to the point. Today I'm going to show you uh, the use how we can use the contact APIs of a phone gap in iOS application okay uh, the code is uh, same for Android as well okay you can run as uh, the same project in Android as well okay here I have uh, listed some examples uh, so uh, we're gonna discuss all over these examples related all these are related to contacts okay so let's start first of all I'm creating a new project to uh, implement this Uh, Fodora create contact project com dot web contact project cd contact project add a platform and then open this project. Yes. Okay, over here, uh, in this tagging folder, I'm gonna remove all the structure and just taking the code over JS in the head section. I hope you guys have understood uh, how to configure, how to create a PhoneGap project. If you don't, then just watch my earlier videos or you can also access my playlist for PhoneGap applications. You can learn from there. Okay, yeah. Here, uh, I just create a button. Type is equals to button. Value is equals to create contact right guys and after that first of all I'm just running these applications to get the effect so this is our first applications create contact buttons over here okay okay now I'm gonna just use my project and I'll explain whatever will happen on the screen okay so just wait a second okay uh, after the after okay I'm creating a new head section over here for uh, sorry sorry new I'm creating a script section in the head section I just remove all the stuff so you can see it properly okay, we do not need any thing over here okay first of all I have created a document dot add event listener but before that we need to use the code of address, uh, which is located in the same directory uh, that is www after that I have uh, created a script sections uh, for writing my own script okay after that here I have registered a device ready event that means the photo is successfully loaded and after that on this device I'm creating a new contact okay but before that creating a contact you need to add the plugin for this project okay otherwise you cannot create a contact so here just go back to your project that is on desktop and after that contact project okay and after that Cordova plugin add org apache dot contacts 
it's stretching on online so that's it uh, plugin is loaded so just you can see over here cdb dot contacts 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 and contacts okay that means it's loaded perfectly after that here here uh, we have created an uh, simple object that is uh, coming from navigator dot contacts dot create and I am passing uh, some parameters for that that is contact display name and uh, nickname okay uh, for iOS it's not uh, recognized the display name and nickname uh, so we have provided a uh, specific name that is uh, given name this okay and I'm creating a contact I'm assigning this to name okay uh, the fields you can get uh, the fields from the uh, phone gap side uh, all the uh, fields are displayed over there so you can directly access that uh, names okay after that I'm creating a sorry after that I'm saving this context to my contact database okay on success save success okay uh, if we got an error so it will goes into the on error and I'm just changing the message um, error while saving the contact okay now okay one more thing uh, I want to do that on a click event of a button then only I want to create the contact so I'm um, using on click event on click create contact okay and after that just write this function over here function okay and I'm just getting all the stuff which is in device ready into the create contacts now just run this application we'll see what happens okay the project is loaded successfully now I'm clicking on contacts create contact okay but before that I would like to show you my built-in contacts that is okay uh, I will remove this all stuff do it okay these are my built-in contacts now I'm creating a new contact that is named with Abhishek Bendre okay so just run this application clicking on the button save success that means the contact is created successfully now just go to the application yeah the contact is created right guys okay but before clicking uh, whenever you run this application uh, you will get the notification that uh, the our contact project wants to access your uh, contact database or a contact applications so you have to click on yes button okay then only you can create a new contacts otherwise it will throw the permission errors okay uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and uh, uh, one more thing for this I'm gonna show uh, the how we can create the cloning of a contacts and how we can remove the contacts on a button clicks in my next video tutorials thank you for watching till then just do the practice and be the professional developer thank you for watching bye bye